So welcome again, guys. So if you've not uh, accessed the previous tutorials, please do access them in the channel on the channel before proceeding to, to this one. So we are doing M-Pesa integration using Laravel, that is C to B, customer to business. So this stage here is now to start uh, uh, creating the M-Pesa controller and then writing the the, the method. So on my terminal, I've navigated to the projects directory, which is opt, lamb, htdocs, projects, filler, and then school. So I'm using a uh, Linux Mint. So if you're using window, I think you are in the ZAM, htdocs, and your project name uh, directory. So I'm going to create a new controller. So we do it by doing php artisan create not create, I'm sorry, <laughs> PHP and make controller and the name of the controller, I want to call it M-Pesa controller like that and hit enter so the controller has been created successfully and now we can access it in our, in the I'm using VS code and if I go to app and then HTTP and then controllers I get this controller which is M-Pesa controller okay so it is in this M-Pesa controller that we are going to write those functions that I mentioned in the previous tutorials and the first one that we are going to write is the uh, generation of the password uh, function so after creating the mpesa controller or uh, the name that you've called your controller so the first method that we want to write is i'm calling it lipa and mpesa method the password so this lipa and mpesa password is going to generate the base 64 encoded password okay so there are there are various things we will do to generate this password and the first one is we are going to generate the current uh, timestamp and then after that we are going to use the pass key the pass key that i showed you in the test credentials and then we are going to use the business short code then we are also going to get it from the test credentials and after having this we are going to now generate the 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 password so let's begin with the first one so we can just call it timestamp timestamp and this is, is equals to carbon so we are going we are using the carbon package equals to carbon Uh, carbon in the, the, the carbon uh, it has a function called ropers ropers like that and then ropers now and then we have the format that that timestamp is to be generated so we have to to add format And that format is um, th that format is um, capital Y, small M, small D, capital H, small M, and then small S, like that. So that is the format in which the timestamp should be generated. So this function, the, the, the first, uh, the first variable is for the current timestamp, and this is the format that is going to be generated. So as you can see, we are using the carbon package. So make sure that you've imported it, and it is you imported it here. Use by writing use eliminate support and then carbon, depending on the on the Laravel version that you are using. The Laravel installation I'm using is Laravel seven. Okay, so. 
after having this uh, package here, we now have to get the passkey. So we just do passkey is equals to. So if you remember, we first went to the developer portal and generated some test credentials. So that is where we are going to get the passkey. So let's go there and get the passkey. And uh, okay, now for us to get the passkey, we'll have to go to the test credential. So just do test credentials. And here we have the, um, the passkey. So just copy it. And then we'll come back to the code and paste it there. Okay, it is a string. So we have to paste it in double quotes or single quotes. So like that. And so we have now our passkey. And then we have the business short code. So the business short code, we're also going to get it from the from the test credentials. So if we go to to our apps, and then we have the CTB test. Or we can use this one. So I just copy the okay on the test credentials still on the test credentials. I'm sorry for that. So if you just go to the test credentials. That is where we are going to get the 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 short code. So this is the short code for testing. So just copy this short code for testing. And then after that we go back to our code and paste it there. I I didn't copy it. So that is the short code and then after that now we, we now generate our password so this password is generated by concatenating uh, by co concatenating the business code the passkey and the timestamp right so what we are, we are going to do we are just going to name it a uh, Mpesa password is equals to base 64. You have to encode it using base 64. So base 64 encode business short code. And then you concatenate with the passkey. With the passkey. And then you concatenate with the timestamp. Right? timestamp then after doing this of course you have to return the password so you just do return and paste a password like that so this is going to return a base 64 encoded string and this password the, the one we are going to use in doing the SDK push okay so let's see if maybe this is working fine and for us to test that, we'll just create a, a route for testing in the web. Uh, we'll create, uh, we can use the web or we can use the API. So let's just use the API and test using the, the comp using the postman. So we'll go to the api.php file and then we'll just create root and that route will be called um, is get route and then just get uh, and paste password like that and then the controller that we are going to use is the mpesa controller Sorry, we are going to use Mpesa controller. And the method is 
let me see what we call the method the method is leap and pesa password so that is the leap and pesa password okay so that is a get uh it's a get method so for us to test that if that password is generated we will open postman so just click on uh, let me search for postman now on our postman uh, application we'll go to let's, let's copy that url and then we just go to you can open a new tab on the postman and then you can paste that and then slash api slash uh, slash mpesa slash password so i want you to note that this we are using the api dot php file and the api dot php file all the routes in this uh, file and the api file they have a prefix of api so on our route we don't have api here but there's this prefix prefix api that is always placed on every route so after that we can save this make sure that we save this after saving that you can now go and send a request so just click on send and there we go so it is returning this password here this is a 64 uh, base 64 encoded password so if we send a request it is going to generate that password and send so this is the password that is being generated uh by that lipan and pesa password uh, method so guys well, thank you so much up to this point we've uh, created the controller we've created the method called lipan and pesa password then this method is for generating the password that you are going to use it to use in doing SDK push. So in the next in the next uh, tutorial, in the next tutorial, you are going to generate the token. You are going to write the method that is going to generate the token. So you generate the password. We need to also generate the token. And having these two, we can now be able to make. Uh, uh, request and pesa using stk push thank you so much please consider subscribing and liking and sharing uh, my channel thank you so much and let's meet in the next uh, tutorial